Welcome back everyone. This video is a tribute to all the stars who created wonderful memories for us, and we honor their lasting legacy. But before we start, let me know if you recognize any of the following actors and actresses. When did you notice them for the first time and how old were you? Do you have any particularly nostalgic recollections of them? Let me know in the comments section below. Andy Devine was an American character actor and comedian. He appeared in over 400 films, often playing affable, comedic sidekick roles. Some of his notable film roles include Buck in Stagecoach and Cookie Bullfincher in The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance. Devine was also known for his distinctive raspy voice, which he used to great effect in his many radio and television appearances. Brad Johnson is an American actor, producer, and former professional football player. Johnson's acting career began in the mid-1980s, and he has since appeared in numerous films and television shows. Some of his notable film roles include Flight of the Intruder, Always and Left Behind. On television, he is best known for his lead role as Dr. Jake Fuller in the drama series Melrose Place. A French and Irish-born English actor and producer, Derek Roll Edouard Alfred de Marnie was a stage and film actor. As a result of his performance in Young Mr. Disraeli at the Kingsway and Piccadilly Theatres, Alexander Korda offered him a long-term film contract. On February 18, 1978, he died from bronchopneumonia and asthma at Frimley Park Hospital in Frimley. As an actor, Malcolm Tierney played many roles in film and television. He became involved in amateur dramatics at the Little Theatre in Bolton, which had been established by John Wardle, father of Irving Wardle, whose wife, Norma, became Tierney's mentor while working as a textile designer and printmaker. So he started studying at the Rose Bruford Training College of Speech and Drama in Sidcup, Kent in 1958 and got his first acting job in 1962. French actor Philip Fourquet was the son of wealthy aristocrat Martius Fourquet. Having begun his career while still being an art student in 1960 with La Menace, Fourquet became popular in France over the next few years. He died in February 2020 at the age of 79.